Welcome to our lecture online. This particular problem dealing with magnetism relative to a coil that has a current in it is actually an easy problem except for two things. First of all, you need to be able to visualize what the problem looks like. I put a diagram on the board just to kind of help us out, but the diagram did not come with the question. And secondly, you have to remember the equation. It's not one of those common equations that comes readily to mind. If you can't remember the equation and you can't visualize the problem, it becomes a very difficult problem. So let's read it and see why. It says the magnetic fields at two points on the axis of a circular coil at a distance of 0.05 meters and 0.2 meters from the center are in the ratio 8 to 1. The radius of the coil is. So first, let's think about what it looks like. We have a coil. We have an axis through the coil and two points on that axis from the center of the coil. This distance right here would be 0.05 meters. Distance here is 0.2 meters. We have the magnetic field strength B1 and B2 and they tell us that the ratio of B1 to B2 is equal to 8 to 1. Okay, so let's assume that you were able to visualize what the problem looked like. Now, how do you find the radius of that coil? Now you need the equation. The equation is as follows. The magnetic field on the axis of a coil is equal to mu sub naught divided by 2 times the number of loops in the coil. Of course, if there's only one loop, that becomes 1. Times the current times the, ra the radius squared divided by the quantity uh, let's call it x squared. So let's do the x first. So we go x squared plus r squared to the 3 halves power. If you don't remember the equation, of course, you're going to have a hard time solving this problem. Now all it is is just simply putting that as a ratio. So now we're going to write b1 over b2, which is equal to 8 to 1, which is therefore equal to mu sub naught divided by 2 times n i r squared. Now notice that will be the same in both cases because it's the same coil, so same number of loops, same current, same radius, divided by the quantity x squared plus r squared. Now notice that would be x sub 1 squared. And we divide that by mu sub naught divided by 2 n i r squared divided by, yeah, let's look at it like that, so this would be x2 squared plus r squared to the 3 halves power, like that. So notice that in the numerator and denominator a lot of things are similar. We can get rid of mu sub naught divided by 2, we can get rid of ni, ni r squared, ni r squared, so then essentially we get 8 over 1 is equal to, now this will go to the numerator, this will become x sub 2 squared plus r squared to the 3 halves power divided by, and this would be x1 squared plus r squared to the 3 halves power. Now, notice that we can take the cube root, oh, let's say we don't need to take the cube root, we can take the square root of 8, no, we can't take the square root of 8, uh, let's see here, hmm, hmm, oh, oh, no, we can square both sides and then take the cube root. How about that? That would be the thing to do. Let's square both sides. If we square both sides, we get rid of the square root symbol, but square root symbol here. So we square both sides. So we get 64 is equal to the quantity x sub 2 squared plus r squared to the third power divided by x sub 1 squared plus r squared to the third power, and now we take the cube root of both sides, so we end up with 4 is equal to the quantity x squared, x sub 2 squared plus r squared to the first power, and here we get x sub 1 squared plus r squared to the first power, so just to get rid of the exponents. So now we can go ahead and solve that equation for r, of course we're going to have to substitute x1 and x2, which we have over here. And so we can then say that 4 times x sub 1 squared. Now x sub 1 would be the shortest distance, that would be uh, 0 0.05, so it would be 0 0.05 squared plus r squared equals 
And then on the right side, we have x sub 2 squared, that would be equal to 0 0.2 squared plus r squared. Okay, now all we have to do here is solve it for r algebraically. So this would be equal to 4 times 0 0.05 squared, that would be uh, 25, so 0 0.25 plus r squared is equal to 0 0.04 plus r squared. So now we have 4r squared minus r squared that becomes 4 times this minus this one would be 3r squared is equal to 0 0.04 and 4 times this would be minus 0 0.01. So we have 3r squared is equal to 0 0.03, r squared is equal to 0 0.01 and r therefore is equal to 0 0.1. Okay, and of course that's standard unit meters and it looks like C is the answer with the same value as this. Now notice I did do a lot of writing on the board. You can probably do this a little bit quicker if you take a look at it. So we have 8 and we have this to the 3 halves power. So when you square both sides you get rid of this. That gives us 64. Take the cube root of 64. It gives us 4. So you could potentially do that all in one step. Then you can come up here, cross multiply 4 times this instead of the equal to the right side. Substitute what's in for the x's the short distance and the longer distance. When you square it, then you solve it algebraically, and we get this. Again, it's a relatively easy problem. It's simply solving a ratio. A lot of things cancel out, but you have to remember this equation, and you have to be able to visualize the problem the way it's written. So, if you know the equation, then you can visualize the problem. It can be done fairly quickly, and that is how it's done.